You're welcome to this particular lesson and in this video we'll be learning UI UX design, right? Or that was also known as product design. So now without wasting much of our time, let's get started. What exactly is user interface design? That is UI design. UI stands for user interface, while UX stands for user experience. So but let's take a look at the difference between the UI and the UX, right? Now for UI, UI refers to the user interface. User interface refers to the visual tools that users need to interact with a product. It is also the structure of elements on a screen or web page, e.g. a button on the screen. Now, when it comes to user interface, it simply means how the website that you guys are seeing, how the mobile app that you always interact with, how are they designed, if they are pretty, if they are not pretty, and so on and so forth, basically. Now, for example, take a look at this particular web app uh, mobile application right here on the screen. There is a red button here, and there is two forms here. So now, if I choose, to put this red button on the left hand side instead of the right hand side and that means i have changed the interface right so that is what ui means basically how the website looks like how the mobile apps look like is the interface is the ui design now let's talk about experience that is ux ux which stands for user experience is the process of enhancing user satisfaction by improving usability accessibility providing in provided in the interaction between the user and the product when it comes to us we are not more concerned about how the application looks like we are more concerned how easy it is to use by first-time users right how easy can users people that are going to use this particular web application or mobile application find their way around it now take for example that you install the new app from the apple play store uh, from the google play store or apple app store right and you install a, a new app and you try to navigate or find your way around that particular app to do a certain thing right unfortunately for you you are finding it really really difficult what that simply means is that you are currently encountering bad experience that means whosoever designed that app the user experience designer did not do a good job but if when you install the app right the app was pretty you are like oh man this app is really fine this app is really great i love the way the design is i love the color i love the way they structure it who you are actually giving that accolade to is the user interface designer right so the ui is more about beauty how fine is the app why the ux is how easy it is for people to use the app in other words satisfaction the experience of the user when they are actually using that particular app so therefore user experience is how a user interacts with and experience a product system or service it includes a person's perception of utility ease of use and what efficiency now let's take a look at product design now in most cases you will see that they call some courses product design why some courses ui ux design and some people are quite confused is product design the same thing as ui ux design or is ui design the same thing as product design now let's take a look at the definition of product design product design can be defined as the general process a designer goes through to evenly blend the user requirements with the business objective or goals now based on this definition here we are trying to say product design brings in what the user is looking for and what the business wants so if a as a designer if you can build an app or if you can design an app or a web application or whatever application software application that can evenly blend what the user is looking for and what the business is looking for then you are a product designer now in this industry of software development or or tech in general a product design is also a UI UX designer, but a UI UX designer, a, a, a UI UX designer is a product designer, but a product designer might not be a UI UX designer. Now, for me to further explain this statement I made, so I made a particular example here about types of products. So you need to know what are products. Now, in generally, we have two major types of products in the world. We have the tangible product and the intangible product. A tangible product is a physical product that can be perceived by touch such as a building, a vehicle, a gadget, or clothing. For example, what we have here are two tangible products. Any product that you can touch, you can feel, you can hold it physically, they are called words, tangible product. For example, now, this shoe that you have seen, or these sneakers, is from a company called Adidas. And this particular sickness here is one of their products. Now, this is not the only product that Adidas has. Adidas has even a sweatpants and sweatshirts and several kind of sneakers, right? So that means they have several products on their their shelf as a company called Adidas. Same thing with Coca-Cola Bottling Company too as well. This particular product here 
is a, a product of the Coca-Cola bottling company. Coca-Cola has other products like Fanta, like Sprite, like Five for Life, and so on and so forth, right? So those are tangible products. Now let's talk about intangible products. Intangible product is a type that can only be perceived indirectly, such as digital products. So whenever we are talking about intangible products, we are talking about digital products. For example, a website, a mobile app, a software, Microsoft Word that you are using, PowerPoint that you are using, all those things are all products. For example, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, MX Excel, they are all products under the company called Microsoft. The same thing too as well with the company called Alphabet, Google, YouTube, Android, they are all several digital products under the company called Alphabet Inc, right? So those things are tangible products. So in our industry, we are not working under tangible products. We are working under intangible products. So we cannot say that whosoever that is in charge in working in the tangible product industry that designed the Adidas sneakers or the Coca-Cola bottling company, we can actually call them a product designer. But in this case, not a UI UX designer. But in our own context, here we are dealing with intangible products which involve like websites, mobile apps, and so on and so forth. So we are a product designer and at the same time, you are a UI designer. So any course out there that you see that says product design and they end up teaching you UI design, it is actually the right thing. It is the same thing. So this is me now telling you that in our industry, a UI designer is a product designer and a product designer is also a UI UX designer. Now some of the softwares that we'll use to design in this industry is called the Adobe XD and the Figma. Now, majority of this particular software has already, uh, 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 you can use several software in designing, but the major one that we use is what Figma. So in this course, we'll be focusing solely on Figma, solely on Figma. Now, you have been introduced to UI design generally, you know what, it, what, or UI, why, what UI design means, what UX means, what product design means, and right now you want to actually start getting your hands dirty. Now, in the real world, the first thing that you do is not you diving in straight into, into Figma and start designing, right? Now, the way design starts from, design starts from what we call project brief, right? So, what is project brief? So, a project brief is a well-documented file on the functionality and features that are meant to be available in a given project. Which simply means that before you start to design, somebody gives you a brief. Oh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to design an e-commerce application. You're going to design a fintech application. You're going to design a real estate application, right? In most cases, this brief comes from your contractor, your employer, or, or your client, right? And sometimes, too, also you can you can actually help them to also draft a brief to ensure that you and the person, you guys are on the same page. So that means if somebody have an idea to build the next best app in the world, the first thing that they want to do is to come up with a brief of that idea, give it to a product designer, in this case, you, then you will be the one to now design the UI and the UX of that particular product, even before the developers start working on them. Now, a brief has some major components, right, which will include title, client profile, project overview slash description, core features or goals, target audience, scale, uh, schedule and, or timeline, budgeting and scope. So it is your job now to pick up that particular brief and start to interpret that particular brief. So we call that, start to interpret that particular brief. So we call that uh, uh, interpreting project brief. So basically we have research and design in relation to the project brief. So that is what you want to do in this particular Space. So I'll give you guys, I will show you guys some example of project brief and how you can also come up with project brief. So even while you are learning, how you can easily get project brief to work on so that we can actually start designing straight away. So right here on my system, I have a sample project brief for an e-commerce application. As you guys can see, it's on the doc file, sample e-commerce project brief, sample brief prepared for the name of the company will be XYZ here. So you have the company profile, the mission of the company, the vision of the company. Then if you scroll down, you have the project overview. What this project is going to look like is a simple e-commerce web and mobile application that will enable users to easily buy products online at ease, core feature, show by category, a product display, cash functionality, check out as a guest or user. So a lot of amazing features going on in here. We see the target audience, we see the schedule, how long will this product going to take, how much will it cost us to design it, and the scope, what is in scope and what is out of scope of this particular project. So this is a sample project, right? Right. So now, 
it is this brief that you are going to use as the designer to actually start working on the UX and the UI part of things. Now, another thing again that you also want to do is, let's say you're looking for a sample brief that you also want to use for your uh, uh, for yourself in, while you learn, right? Before you actually start working on real life projects, you can use this particular website called goodbrief.io. It basically just generates you brief. So if you come over here now, you you see several things that you could actually like pick up. You could say website, for example. So let's pick up website type of brief that we want websites to see. There are several stuff, real estate, technology, fashion, education, blah blah. Different things that you could actually pick. Let's pick um education, for example. So we close this. So with this now, we've selected the type and industry we want. We can just click on generate. So if we click on generate, it's going to generate a sample brief. So this one is a very short brief, right? You can also get like good and uh, um, longer brief if you want to. But this is very short. But I'll say ah, um, sample comp. The name of the company is Simple Glow. We make college courses for learning fashion design. We stand out because of our customer service. Our target audience is millennials we want to convey a sense of excitement while at it the same time being kind this description you must create a website that will mainly show a list you see this particular sample brief does focus on the core features right so you can actually use that to generate if you if i click on generate again it's going to bring something else again right so we give we must create a website that will mainly provide customer support for the company the goal is to increase sales um, beside the landing page, the website will need a contact page, product page, and a terms of service page. So these are several things that you could actually use to ensure that you work on this particular project, right? So guys, um, that is how you can actually come up with brief. So once you have a brief, the next thing that you want to do right now is to basically start designing, start working on that particular project, and start working on the UX part of things, and so on and so forth. So for that, we'll be doing that in the next lesson. And I'll be waiting to see you guys in the next lesson. Peace out. Now, don't forget to like this particular video. Subscribe on the channel if you have not yet. And turn on the post notification. And I get to see you in the next lesson where we'll be designing based on our sample brief that we have here. Peace out, guys.